So the, the key takeaway for me for that is, is intent, which we spoke about earlier, but the same is around uh, um, people starting to begin to think like their leaders. So if the people that are leading an organization are advocating how you need to focus on customer centricity and how you need to know your customer and how you need to be aware of anti-money laundering and they feel a part of that journey, then they start becoming advocates for those processes. I think if any one of you have done any of that training, you'll, uh, you'll know factually that it takes a lot of understanding and people need to go through that process, but it needs to be done on a regular basis because you actually need to live it and breathe it. It's not something that can just be discarded. However, um, the thing that it does as well is if, the, if everybody understands the way that their leadership is thinking and they start behaving in the same way, it improves productivity, it, it, it's, it's certainly going to decrease risk, decrease the overall cost of efficiency, and ultimately you deliver a better quality service. So something that I wanted to also share with you is people that work with more intent and purpose, they don't work for a boss, they work for a company. And they live that company's values, they eat, sleep, live and breathe. I am a part of this organization. That comes from good leadership.